Hello, everyone. This is a reading for the rest of 2020. This has been a really difficult year, to say the least. I've gotten many requests, and so I decided to do a reading like this. And I am offering a reading just like this. You can check my website. My website is listed below this video. And it is for a very limited time only, or if too many are already in, it will shut off anyway. So it'll be available for a limited time only. So I'm going to be using the coffee cup and the gemstones and some cards. Okay, so I did um, focus on kind of dividing it between or what messages want to flow together. So let's pull the cards. Okay, so there's a two of hearts. There is a five of spades. Eight of hearts. A ten of clubs. Okay. And we have the king of clubs. All right. So what are we looking at here? Two, five, eight, ten, and a king. Okay. And a club. So a lot of things are emotionally affecting us. Okay. So there's a lot of that going on. Mega changes. Um, it's not the easiest. Spades are not easy energies because we're looking at a collective here. You know, what's what to expect for, for everyone for, you know, it's a very general rating, by the way. So so we're looking at um, a focus here with groups of people. This is the world. Groups of people. A lot of things coming together. Magnified new beginnings. We have the king of clubs. So we're dealing with authority. We're dealing with um, the system. Um, you know, we got the two of hearts, so, you know, communications, decisions, things are heartfelt here, too. Sometimes not knowing which way to go. So trying to connect with like-minded people as well. We have the five of swords. There is definitely some changes here. Health issues, security issues, changes that we may not like, um, or things that needed to be eliminated. So things will be eliminated. We have groups of people here, too. Um, us, us uh, collectively as a social group too as well so a lot of that coming together a big focus on that and what we desire the ten of clubs this is work the world around us um, a massive amount of um, accumulated energy and others around us so a lot of changes will be implemented as well with the king of clubs we may not like all the changes either with the king of clubs this is authority sometimes it's abusive authority so you know it's not the easiest energy here and so what we're seeing here um, is, yeah, there's a lot of that energy that we, um, you know, I can't believe everything you hear is one thing that I feel here too. And I am seeing here that we're kind of out of balance. Okay. Um, trying to manifest, um, um, it's a belief systems, uh, so dealing with institutions, government, and just, uh, government, um, hospitals, all kinds, religious, all institutions are coming up here as well. Trying to emotionally and spiritually connect. There will be endings, you know, magnifying your beginnings. This is death and rebirth too. So this is down the road, travel journey, um, hard work, um, working hard on a lot of things too. We're trying to get, um, some energy, you know, some kind of, um, a feel here. It's like uh, trying to ground ourselves. Our security and safety is coming through here, too. There's, like, returns of negative energies. Um, it's going to av awaken what we are living for. Um, uh, trying to overcome some kind of either obsessions, addictions, um, with, you know, this is now personal lives and the world around us. Uh, this is, it's, it's asking you to be more, um, to dwell into relaxation, meditation, um, trying to relieve stress during difficult times, okay? Because I see um, passion here, um, connecting and shielding yourself physically, emotionally, and mentally as well. Um, there is this energy here too. You know, we got the king of clubs, so we're dealing with, it's not the easiest here. It's not kind of mastering things, but it's work. It's uh, the government. It's um, people in authority here too. Um we need we 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 need to be courageous. Um, there's a sense of needing some self honesty, self discoveries, action, determination, trying to relieve stress, trying to create harmony as well. At the same time, we could be dealing with, um, I don't know. There's a sense of sometimes this is pollution. Okay, um, it's like electromagnetic type of energy. I don't know. That's showing up. Long terms of illnesses. Um, because the five of swords showed up here too. Dreams, imagination, it's like uh, re-energizing the physical body as well as, as well as the mental and 
um, the mental and the, what I want to say, the um, spiritual, uh, connecting with the yin and yang, you know, energies, putting things into balance. So we are seeing a lot of that energy coming through here. Okay. Very interesting. All right. So let's start with the coffee cup here. Let's see what the plate has to say. Um, the plate is showing up here that right now in the present, a lot of things, um, are occurring anyway. Um, things are not going to last too long. Okay. So it's like very flighty energy things. Um, some things are coming to a conclusion, but they're kind of double. It's like power struggles in a way. Gaining more clarity, but you don't have it yet. I think the time of Virgo right now, because I feel a Virgo energy is showing up. So the time of Virgo is very important as well. And, um, you know, no, it's a lot of things are not going to be the way we thought they would be. Okay, things, it's like surprises come in, good and bad. Okay, so that is what showed up there. Now let's look at the coffee cup here. Money, a Taurus energy is showing up here. Um, this could be that um, um, dealing with money, work, and trying to be grounded. Okay, I do see that there is, you know, there is some luck on our side here. It's it's abundant energy as well, but there's just a lot of chaos going on. The energies I'm seeing here is endings and closures. Um, new paths, new ways of emotional paths too. Um, a lot of helpful energy too, a lot of supportive energy around us. And this is with people that we already know, people that are close to us. Um, a lot of fears we're dealing with and a lot of um, um, worries and fears and doubts. Um, but some of them will be, you know, some of us, some of us are gaining more clarity and it's kind of leaving us. The thing is we do need to be a little bit careful of our surroundings. Okay. A lot is going on here. Um, because I see, you know, it's like a lot of news coming in, a lot of messages are coming in. This could be even um, from long distance, even travel, social media energy is showing up here as well. Well, the problem here is dealing with authority, dealing with people who want to control and dominate us. And this could be whoever we think is um, in power over us. OK, so I'm seeing that energy and us trying to take some kind of control in our personal lives and in the world around us. I do see, you know, there is choices and something that we need to make um, that's going to affect us in our personal life. It will affect things that are happening in the world and that are going to affect us to make a choice. And we are, we'll, we'll, we will be more confident to be able to leave and make some kind of a choice in some kind of areas in our life. Because it's like we, there's been um, love, there's been um, happiness, but um, things got shattered more because we're seeing here a lot of um, money issues this is like trying to make settlements, negotiations, work, trying to find um, new jobs. So there, that is showing up. That is um, there. But I do see um, sudden big changes. This is like a tower energy. So we are seeing that at least um, the first, I guess, September, October, so to speak, um, we're seeing a lot of, uh, it's, like, it's like a tower energy. It's like explosion, things um, suddenly changing. Okay. So there's a lot of choices and decisions that we're going to have to make. Lot. I'm trying to see here. Cause I think now I am seeing, um, we have a lot more courage. Okay. Um, It's like being honest to ourselves. It's like we only want the truth, okay? Um, needing some kind of action. There's a lot of uh, th things going on. Uh, determination, trying to relieve stress, trying to bring in harmony. Um, so we are seeing a lot of that energy coming through as well. Again, I don't know why I am seeing... Um, How do I want to say it? There's a sense of, I don't know why. It's like, to me, it's like electromagnetic waves, uh, filters, energy, um, a lot of information coming through, uh, dealing with a lot of emotions now. Um, we need to strengthen. Uh, it's like nerve wracking. It's like uh, the nervous system. Um, we need to, this also more loving communications coming through. Um, there's some blockages we're dealing with, fear, a lot of worry. Um, 
compassion is coming through, communication, needing to heal the heart, um, needing to trust our intuition, okay? So I do see that energy coming through. And like I said, sudden changes. There's going to be massive changes and sudden moves. Um, it's like a tiresome energy and lethargic energy too. Um, we may have to take breaks, separate ourselves, people being more to themselves. I do see a lot of that energy coming through, health and well-being. Again, we're going to be dealing with some kind of health issues. Um, and it's like trying to rebalance our energies. We're a lot in our head. There's a sense of a stubbornness, and we're trying to move forward as well. So there's something about, you know, kind of be uh, warned and uh, kind of um, be aware of your sur of, of our surroundings as well. So I see a lot of those changes occurring um, like in September going in October and I do see more of October there's like um trying to remove some blockages a lot of stress um all the impurities are showing up here too a lot of wisdom um more personal power um Power is coming through, personal power, for good or for bad, okay? I see a lot of um, recovery with um, health and well-being, too. Um, I do see things are going to enhance and bring more love to, um, in our lives, too. Um, attracting, manifesting more wealth, too. So uh, that's really kind of occurring in, in um, I think, October. Timing is different for everyone, so... Um, it's going to kind of bring about our soul's purpose, okay? It's promoting a lot more wisdom and a lot more enlightenment, uh, um, like in um, October. But then we're kind of stuck in our ways and just thinking where we're going to move from there. Um, very interesting um, energies that we saw there. All right, so let's look at the gemstones and what are we seeing here? Hmm. Well, we have um very fiery type of energy at the same time we're seeing here too. Um, um things it's like a lot of things that occur now I, this is basically around November to December is I think by the next summer 2021 there's going to be some significant changes maybe coming from into Leo season. Also, Capricorn, I'm picking up Capricorn season now is going to be very important for where we're basically looking at November into December, kind of. Um, there's new opportunities. Also, Libra, like I said, the Libra season is going to be very strongly indicated here, too. There's going to be some truths that are going to be revealed. These are secrets, too, things like that. Uh, moving into the right path here. Um, there's a, some kind of void, emptiness, cycles that need to be closed up. A lot of scattered energies, too. So we're seeing that coming through too. There is like a, um, I don't know, maybe a lot of you will be having dreams, nightmares. Um, n there is some negative energy that needs to be dispelled, okay? Thinking more positive, uh, positively, releasing things that no longer n we need, um, trying to anchor and relieve stress. So we're seeing that communication, concentration, um, it's a great type of energy here of uh, the eliminator and detoxifier, okay? Um, I do see here, too, that, you know, we're dealing with um, depression. So it doesn't even look like health and well-being anymore. It's more like, well, mental health, uh, depression, needing to calm the emotions down, um, clearing the mind, and meditating is going to be very important um, the last two months of the year from what I'm seeing here. Um, I also see more inspiration, more patience. Um, bringing in more love, happiness, fidelity, truth, uh, that kind of energy too. It encourages a lot of um, here, encouragement, uh, mutual understanding, benefiting things um, with family and partnerships, money, growth is coming through too. Uh, friendships, new friendships, okay? Uh, we're getting more clarity, goal, we're, we're attaining more goals, more alertness. Um, I do see also unconditional love is going to be very important, encouraging a lot of um, cooperation and understanding. 
because what we're seeing here is uh, things are going to quickly come in and use. Something's going to significantly be rushing in. Things are a process standing up for um, trying to complete things. We're seeing process going on, process going on. And so it's still hard. There's a lot of work to be done. Uh, responsibility, a lot of nurturing energy is coming through here too because we, we, it's like we had some, a lot of sudden endings, uh, stresses, uh, things that have been you know, going on probably from September, October. And then it's like a lot of lessons that have been learned, okay? Moving forward, very creative solutions. Coming to a very strong new beginning. Spiritual towers here, official energies coming through here too. So there is something new here, okay? Something official. Dreams and wishes, goals, um, fortune, um, um, abundance is coming through here as well. Lessons learned, a lot of communications, desires, I mean, adjustments, okay? Dealing with home, foundation, love, money, family, all of that, all in the adjustment. And, you know, in divine timing, spiritual, spiritually connecting. Cycles are being closed up. They're still active, though. Um, what I see is... Um, slower moving energy towards, you know, more security, safety. Um, I do see a lot of talks, uh, counsel needed. So that's uh, showing up and wisdom. Um, more happiness is coming through too. So I feel like the um, going into the summer, I think a lot of things will work from spring next year is going to start um, getting better for a lot of us in our personal life and the world around us. Um, the thing is, and the challenge is staying happy. I see a lot of depression, though. What I do see is also here is there is something that's being stolen from, you know, um, stolen from us, something, uh, misinformation. There's still some kind of um, don't believe everything you hear. It's like liars are surfacing here as well. Um, but researching, gathering information is going to be very important, okay? Keeping more to ourselves. We're going to be more focused on our goals, learning, studying, research, uh, researching, uh, getting spiritual messages, spiritual tower here as well. So a lot of that um, energy is coming through too. So, you know, that's what it looks like basically for the collective. Remember, we have the Two, five, eight, ten, and the king of uh, clubs. So we've looked at that in every which ways. Our responsibilities, um, partnerships, and also um, forming a union, taking care of uh, what what we do care, what we do love, and who we do love. A lot of changes here of perspective. Health and well being is showing up here too, and purging what is not healthy for us. There is still an emphasis on that. Um, also, conflicts. We're seeing that collectively and change. Groups of people, too, but this is also social groups and um, a focus on what we desire and love. So that is really coming through, too. Massive things happening in the world. There is a good omen with this card. Usually there's fortune um, on our journey ahead. So we're coming to magnify new beginnings. A lot of lessons learned. Um, groups of people. So the world around us is really um, making an effect here. Taking our power back, too. Um, but dealing with authority and... Um, you know, changes. It's like changing of the guard is coming through here as well. Okay, well, that was a reading for the collective. Um, okay, um, here's to the rest of 2020. All right, and bye for now.